Thanks very much, Michael, for agreeing to talk with me this afternoon. Um, we're really interested in hearing about this exciting development that's happening in, in our uh, York Region community. And could you start off by introducing yourself, the organization you're with, your title, and, and then speak to uh, this new initiative that's just getting started uh, in York Region. All right, not a problem. My name is Michael Bowe, and I'm the supervisor of diversity and outreach for the York Region Children's Aid Society. And essentially, um, I had the idea of pulling together a group of organizations to sit on a council to uh, develop both a film festival that would be annual for York Region, so basically films made by uh, residents of York Region, about York Region, as well as to develop a multimedia uh, film institute so that people could be trained in the art of making films and multimedia treatments. And the idea of doing that came about uh, when I began to work within the region, which was October of last year, so that's 2008. And I I got to hear a lot of um, stories, a lot of narratives, a lot of conversations around the region in different agencies across the uh, human services field about us not having enough funding. Um, so we're underfunded, we're underserviced, uh, most within the community of York Region and in uh, the GTA think that we are all rich fairly wealthy people, we don't have um, substance misuse within the region, uh, poverty, uh, VAW issues, uh, essentially we are without need. So I thought why not pull together a film festival that people within the region could start to tell their stories and uh, to do that in a way that the entire region can be educated as well as those outside of the region. So basically I pulled together uh, the York Region Multimedia Film Development Council, which in turn will develop an annual film festival as mentioned, and eventually a multimedia uh, film institute. Wow, that sounds really exciting. So you're going to ask the community members to contribute their stories and what form and, and what types of stories are you interested in? Yes, we're going to be asking service providers within the human services field, uh, service recipients. Uh, we're going to be looking at asking um, the general public to submit films. And the films could be on uh, essentially social issues or just people's general experience of York Region. What is it like coming from a rural area in China and uh, living in a populated metropolis in uh, Richmond Hill? or Markham, uh, what is the experience of a woman who have experienced domestic violence and her, her children? What is the experience of a youth living on the streets in New York Region? So the whole idea is for people to begin to tell their stories and we're asking everyone within the region to develop film and uh, to begin that um, collective narrative. Wow. That sounds very, very neat. Uh, so perhaps those stories might uh, be a bit different than that image of York Region being very affluent and uh, everything is going really super fine here. Precisely. Okay. We don't want to denounce that there's that component of the region, yeah. but what we're trying to shed light on is that there are also other aspects, and York Region is incredibly diverse. I believe it's the... Uh, second if not third most diverse part of um, this country and there's constantly an influx of uh, new faces and new voices that needs to be heard so I think uh, with having this particular festival and institute to empower people to develop films we can begin to uh, show that diversity and that we're not just rich mm -hmm. wealthy people which um, is not the case obviously well, that's great. Uh, is there a, uh, a special interest in any one particular age demographic, or youth, or seniors? Is there, is there some thought to that? Uh? There is a, a particular focus towards youth involvement. However, it's not exclusive to youth okay. in being involved. Because we do want to encourage everyone of, uh, of a, from a broad, diverse, from broad, diverse identities to be involved, whether it be uh, seniors, youth, okay. uh, s single mothers, whether it be someone from um, 
Afghanistan, uh, just people from diverse mm -hmm. uh, ranges of um, identities to begin to tell their stories within the region. Okay, very good. And the types of media that you're interested in, in receiving, uh, could you explain that a little bit more? We're looking at receiving docudramas, um, documentaries, dramas, uh, animation, photo voices. So it's a, a complete range of uh, various um, uh, media types or installations we're looking to. to okay, see. great. And so in the festival, it'll be shown um, all over the region or at any particular locations. What's the thinking on that? Well, at the moment, um, Markham and jo Georgina seems uh, seem to be the, the ones that are on the forefront in terms okay. of their interest um, in having this particular uh, festival in their municipality. Um, the idea, ideally, is to have to select three municipalities from the northern part of the region one year to host uh, the uh, Multimedia Film Festival, and then the next year select three from the southern part of the region to host um, the festival and just go back and forth um, year after year so that it's truly a, a regional film festival. Mm -hmm. um, however, based on interest and those who kind of say, me first, mm -hmm. will probably have to mix it up. So it might, who knows, be uh, Georgina, Vaughn, and Markham uh, that will have uh, the inaugural mm -hmm. um, film festival in, in May 2010. Or it might align according to, um, to uh, what I previously explained. But it's who wants it most, I guess. Sure, that sounds great. So I can see that the uh, festival is seeking to uh, attract those who are really serious about developing their expertise and their professional art form, whatever it may be, but also those who just want to express themselves or to, to have a voice in the community. Is, am I correct with that uh, assessment? Oh, most definitely. Okay. Yeah, we, we do want to encourage your um, typical resident of okay. the region to be involved and to have their voice heard because uh, I think a part of um, our challenge within the region is that those who live within the region don't know too much about the region right. and oftentimes that's because a lot of us work outside of the region we come sure. we sleep and get up eat <laughs> uh, take a shower and take off to work in Toronto yeah. or outlying areas of our region and come back and uh, that's your life so this would give your typical residents within the region, if there's a typical resident, I should mm -hmm. say, uh, an opportunity to have a voice. Wow, that's that's great. Now I can see that um, all those people, I think there's many people, uh, not only in York Region, but in experiencing a, an alienation, a disconnection from their community and, and perhaps from their neighborhood and, and just their, their the, the lives they lead. Uh, telling your stories would... Um, have potential to bring people closer together. Would you agree to that, Michael? Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. And the initial theme for the inaugural festival is entitled, if I remember correctly, mosaic, rich tapestry, oh. mosaic fragments. So it captures that um, segmentation, that fragmentation that you, you referenced in terms of uh, people living in isolation across the region and enduring uh, really acute challenges without uh, the collective um, assistance of those in the region that can assist. So a part of um, this multimedia film development um, experience is to have their voices heard so those who can lend assistance and who might be listening can indeed provide sure. uh, what mm -hmm. is needed. So it's to bring our region together, to bring us truly together as a community. Wow. Well, we certainly look forward to hearing more about uh, how this develops over the next few months, and I'd like to come back and, and do another interview with you and uh, keep getting the word out there to our community about this, this new development. Thanks very much, Michael, for sharing your story with us. Uh, thank you, Brent. All right.